on this one here just to demonstrate um, I'm gonna cut out a puffin so um, there's a coping saw here and what I like to do is I like to sharpen my blade first on the coping saw with a three corner file See, there's a shape of the puff in it. You know, it don't have to be real exact or accurate, you know, so I just kind of do a rough sketch. Mm -hmm. And then as I'm carving it, you know, I'll, I'll fix it from there, but It's best just to go a little bit on the outside of your lines. Mm -hmm. You can always take off, but you can never add on. You can, you can clamp that pretty tight without worrying about it cracking. Yeah, yeah. Just enough to where it, you know, it's not going to move while you're um, either cutting or filing. You try to cut as much, shave off as much as you can with a coping saw. So with a file or motor tool, it'll be less, yeah. uh, less work. But after that, you... Center line? Yeah. Make your straight line. Another couple lines to cut out what's not needed. You know, nowadays, it's um, it's faster to use a motor tool to shape these out, you know, I mean, but, but uh, this, this used to be a big part of it, is, is a couple saws and shape it out as best you can, and nowadays it's just all motor tool. There's a difference between carving on a floor and, and on a bench. On a floor, you know, you, know, you have all your tools uh, within reach, you know. Like, like there, I'd have to move there's back and forth over to the saw, sander, and here. And, but on a floor, I mean, I don't know whether it's just the old way of carving or you know uh, I think I think to carve on a floor is more enjoyable now I'll work on his feet 
a little bit. Do you, do you discover, you know, flaws sometimes when you cut into these tufts? Or? Yeah, that's where super glue comes in, is that, <laughs> is that, you know, I mean, like on the little cracks, like in the sanding stage, I'll use a super thin just as a precaution and put it in these little cracks. But I know this is dry and so it'll hold up. Why is it important for the tusk to dry out? When it's fresh, it still has water in it. And then, and then when you carve it, like say if, if, if Dersorelris was caught last week, and if I carved it, um, it would, it would just crack. Mm. See, back in the old days, um, they carved in in a community shop, and and every you know there was was carvers all around, and you would visit with you carved with like your uncles or your dad or relatives or other members of the community, and you would they they'd mostly be quiet and just carve, and once in a while they'd take a break and and talk about whether, you know, it'd be carving or whatever, but, you know, everybody just enjoyed carving with each other. And, and then this is more, um, this is quieter than having a bunch of motor tools running, I mean. And this way you could, have more time with, you know, take your time and just carve. That's about how much I could get it with a coping saw, the shape of it. It's not flush. If there's a file up there somewhere, if you could hand me that. Thank you. We'll flatten this out. Okay, that's about as good as I could get it with a saw and hacksaw. I started shaping out a seal out of one of the female tusks. Uh, I uh, draw, draw the uh, draw a seal out first. It was one solid piece. I just cut out the bottom first. Uh, it was kind of an uh, angle, the tusk itself. need to improvise uh, on how I'm going to cut this so I'm going to start with a critical uh, this is a narrow narrow side where the um, body meets the flipper 
So this is critical. As you can see, we reached that narrow section. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be fine. There wasn't a twist on the ivory. I would have went ahead and cut all the way to the neck. That's about the end of the twist of the tusk. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut, stop my uh, cut there. So I'm gonna compensate the angle from the front. So uh, I didn't leave uh, the tail out so I can carve it into the tail. I'll draw that in a bit here. Looks like we're doing fine. From the tusk itself, uh, it would have been a bigger seal, but uh, I had to make it smaller because there's a big crease right there that I need to compensate and grind out to make both sides uh, round like this. <laughs> 